man. I tried to come out here to do a quick bit of filming. It's way too hot. <laughs> I think we're going to go back inside. This is the worst part about uh, summer in Queensland. It's um, unbearable the majority of the time. These are the, I think they're called bromeliads that I brought with me Whoa. from the beach house. And I've planted a few more of them out. I've got one here and one down here. And I've got actually another three or four to plant out. I had other plants in here and then they ended up um, getting pulled out by the horse and not growing. These little ones, I can't remember what they're called. So instead I put these purple and green ones. So something I have that's a little bit weird exciting is an unboxing video. Um, I'm so excited. So this is my birthday present. I got a new lens and a new uh, camera, especially for vlogging. So um, I'll give you a wee little tour of my studio and then we'll do the unboxing. Let's go. filming from is the FE 3.5 to 5.6 28 to 70. That's just a standard kit lens. So this one's got a, ch a changing um, aperture thing over here. Oh, 
that's that. <gasps> Isn't it superb? <gasps> oh my goodness. Okay. So I'm just trying to be very careful so that I don't get all these fluffy things all over the ground. So, this was um, a kit sale, so it was like two things that you get. So this is the shooting group with wireless remote for the Sony uh, ZV-1. So we'll open that in a second. And... Sony ZV-1. So this is a point and shoot, right? Like this isn't um, a DSLR. It's a point and shoot, but these are have some of the best um, reviews for, for vlogging. So that's why I wanted to use it, because up until now I've actually been using my um, iPhone. Okay, we've got to be quick, because otherwise he's going to be there forever. <laughs> um, so the other advantage is my Rode microphone that I use on this camera right now, on my big camera. Um, can be used for that. So inside you get a little postcard, um, you get a reference guide in a couple of different languages, um, you get this accessories card, all the different accessories you can get, you get a startup guide little booklet, that's also in a couple of different languages, um, and yeah, so that's that. Now inside the box you get a little USB charger. Oh, you get a little microphone. Oh, you actually do get a little microphone. So that's pretty useful. If you, so if you were starting out, um, so if you wanted a microphone or needed a microphone and um, you know didn't want to spend separately for it, the ZV1 has an inbuilt um, microphone that you get. I don't know how good it is. I'll try. It. This is the camera. It's very, very compact. It's really small. The lens on it is a Zeiss lens, which are renowned in the Sony world. Um, this is a 1.8 to 2.8 um, with a zoom, because it is a zoom lens at the back of the camera. So see, that's the pop-out thing. So obviously, if you're vlogging, you can hold it up like that and vlog, and it's not heavy. So the difference is, this weighs about 300 grams. My big camera, on its own without a lens, is like 700 grams. So it's twice the weight. Plus, if you put a camera, if you put any other things on there, like a bigger lens, it gets much, much heavier. All right. So that's your place for your battery. And I believe that little place there is for your SD card. So it's really quite good because it's got this pop-up open thing, but it doesn't close. So you actually have to press the little button to close it. So I don't have an SD card in there for now. I'm going to go on dishwasher. There you go. Camera looking through a camera. So it automatically zooms out. So straight out of camera. It's got no card, so it didn't save it. That's fine. It tells you the details of your picture, the size, like megapixels, etc. Um, and then down the bottom here, you've got like your actual camera setting, so your ISO, your f-stop, um, and your shutter speed. Yeah. Oh, see, so you can change your autofocus area. Yep. <gasps> so there you go. This is... Mr. Camera, hello! The ZV-1! Oh god, everyone's making noise. I have to stop this video. I'll just give you a quick tour of this room. So Serge is only just, because uh, it's been so hot here, we just haven't had a chance to do anything. So he has done a bit of a project for me and cleaned out the studio space. 
it's like a combined photography, videography, and soap studio, which is really fun. So he's just put these um, shelves in there, which I'm going to load up with my stuff. Probably on the left-hand side, or probably on this table, I'm not sure yet. I'll have all my photography gear actually out, so I can use it a little bit more often. Um, and then this is some of the stuff for the soap studio. That's more stuff for the soap studio. Uh, and then this is a light box that I bought. Inside it's got a light. You can change the settings of the light, just a white light. You open up this zipper and you can put your, you know, if you're doing product photography, which I do a lot for my soap company. And um, inside you can change your backgrounds and everything and you pop your camera here. Um, and you've also got a spot up top where you can pop your camera. And I think that cost me 60 bucks Australian. Um, I don't use it a lot because it's a little bit clunky, but it might just be a matter of me changing my, um, the materials, the backdrop materials in there, like from instead of the plastic that they are maybe into a fabric, that might be a little bit more pliable and easy to use. But yeah, that's that. And this is a picture of my dad. My sister made this picture for me, like got it printed. It was when my dad was very young. Um, and hunting in, I think that's in South Australia. So yeah, it's a lovely, lovely picture of my dad and we've got it now in the soap studio. down a little bit. Let's see if we can um, go outside and check on a few things. There was a gigantic cicada in the garden just before and he, <laughs> he almost flew into my head. He was huge. sticks, lots of bush, and no paved roads. There's a dead root. These properties, we were actually going to buy one of these properties, which is way down there, but time we couldn't sort of facilitate it <clears throat> and now we we're probably kicking ourselves just a little bit <laughs> it was um it was a good good buy at the time but that's okay everything happens for a reason I think go down a bit further I think there was a clearing down there yeah where you could turn around This property we actually looked at. We were going to buy this property when, before we bought our house that we're currently in. It's hard to see, but that's um, 50 acres. Alright, 
right so I guess what a little bit of explanation what we're trying to do is I'm trying to initially I wanted to get up on one of those peaks near us so I can get like a valley view of where we live <clears throat> but I'm having a little bit of trouble finding something that's relatively close enough to the edge of a cliff that I can take a good photo so girls instead <laughs> I've changed tack and now I'm trying to instead find something lower but I've got something in mind and I can't find, I'm in my head I'm trying to think of where it was that we've previously been to take that photo. Um, so until then we're going to be cruising around and having a look. Not for too long though, it's too hot. Um, uh, like a golfing, you know, the golfing greens. <laughs> you would think I was a professional the way I'm going with <laughs> like two cameras hoisted up, but I got my shot and oh, I think it's going to look fantastic. So now we are heading home and it's time to feed all the fur babies and feed ourselves and maybe have a drink. Oh, I think I might like a drink. Would you like one? Probably. I would like a scotch and a coke because it's my birthday. Oh, I forgot to tell everyone. It's my birthday. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> oh, I didn't know how to finish it, so I just stopped. I'm like, happy birthday to me. Anyway, right, so that'll be the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed the little cruise around our township. Not a typical vlog for us, but I figured because I was going out and about that um, you guys might enjoy seeing we will leave what our township looks like so don't forget to like and subscribe leave any comments down below and we'll see you next time bye for now <laughs>